Hey, hey, this is Pierre de la Côte working at Planet Technologies. I wanted to talk today about the connectors in Teams. It's a little bit an advanced features, but just want to show you a few tips. Uh, so let's me first create a channel to demonstrate that. Um, so I'm going to create a new channel. Quickly. <laughs> Okay, so now I have a channel. What I can do with a channel, I can, I can associate a connector. So clicking here, you can have access to connectors. And here there's a, really a lot of connectors are available and you just have to plug them. So I'm gonna show you one connector that I'm using uh, from time to time, the Bing News connector. What it is, what is it? Is it, it is, a connector that uh, can send you news coming from Bing into your uh, channel. So I can configure this connector. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm gonna give a name. So let's, for example, let's say I want news about what's new in Teams. So Teams news. And then I can add the uh, keywords. So for example, Teams is a keyword. So I, I'm gonna type Teams. Uh, if also, I don't know, how I'm interested in Power Apps, for example, I can add Power Apps also. I can say when I want this digest to be delivered. So what time? So I select my time, so let's say, you know, every morning, I want to have access to it every morning. And I just save, and that's it. And now you won't be able to see it because um, it's going to be triggered uh, tomorrow at, at 7.30. So I'll show you a result soon. but. Uh, that's how simple it is. Uh, what if you want to change it? So you just have to go back to your connectors. You will see your Bing News connector and you can see you, the one are configured so because you can have several times the same connector. And you just have to click manage it and then you can change it that, or remove it. So that's how it works. So let's see uh, an example. Uh, I think I have an example here. That may, might give you some ideas. Um, I need to find where, what channel I used for that. For example, urgent news, I think. So here I um, you know, manage a connector to alert me uh, every day on the word hurricanes. So how did I do that? I did uh, the connector. So I should have somewhere the one that are configured. I can see this one, I can manage it, and I see that I put hurricanes, Carolina hurricanes, Dorian, that was the last hurricane, I set the time, and now I have every day, I have a, I have a summary of what happened uh, around the hurricane based on big news. So that's that can be useful. We use it um, extensively to figure out what's what's new in Teams, for example. Uh, let me show you somewhere uh, here at Microsoft News. Uh, I think that's one of it. Um, so I'm not sure I didn't. Um, let's see if I can have access to how it was uh, configured, so I'm going there, configured, and I see there are several, you can also have, you know, uh, other connectors than Bing News, uh, so can did those two, so what did he find, he looked for power to me, Microsoft SharePoint, Power Platform, Team as a Platform. So that's a way to find out what is new uh, every day about a topic. And it's pretty powerful with Bing News, but you have other connectors. You can see that um, if I go there again to the connectors, 
you have so many connectors and they're, you know, Trello, um, you know, any kind of app that can trigger something. Kazoo, that's fun. Um, we use it once uh, in our virtual meeting. You have tons of connectors, so you just need to find what co connectors, you can sort the connectors here. Depends on what your IT is providing, um, but you know, it's pretty, pretty powerful uh, list of connectors uh, sorted by uh, categories. Um, so I really encourage everybody to look at connectors and especially the I think the Bing connector is pretty useful to have in a dedicated channel some news about some topic that you're very interested regarding what you're doing in this team. Hope it was helpful.